what is up you guys welcome back to another video it's been a while since i've posted anything um i've had little issues with the car lately nothing too serious just typical honda stuff um like the axles i, I don't know if they're the right ones or not they might be but for now the car is drivable i'm gonna head out to rancho cucamonga right now i gotta pick up some hardware for the steering wheel basically i just want to switch the color on it i'll show you guys the hardware color once we get to the spot hopefully you guys like it if not no big deal i think it's gonna look good but yeah there she is um still in the same condition a little bit dirty you can't tell on camera of course but it's still in one piece for now uh we're at the carousel mall san bernardino whatever you know what it is so yeah we're gonna head over to rancho right now do some pov shots a couple pulls for you guys don't want to break it just yet but i will show you what the car can do of course and yeah that's really it for the car uh i might need to change the tires out to something a little bit stickier maybe a mickey thompson because these still do break loose they get the job done for the most part but you know it could be better also in case you haven't seen the engine in the last couple videos uh we do got the turbo on there now obviously everything's running good for now i'm gonna take it to lazy man garage's house tomorrow and we are gonna wire tuck uh all these little wires or whatever just clean it up and then potentially do a color over the engine bay I have a color in mind. I don't want to tell you just yet. I want to kind of leave it for a surprise. I think you guys will for sure like it. Uh, it's definitely going to pop compared to what it is right now. So I'm hoping we don't catch too much traffic right now. It's about 12:30. Going to go to one. I think we should be fine though for the most part. I just want to be able to have space to do a couple pulls. That's all. It's such a trip that this place is abandoned. I used to come here as a kid. It's more of a history piece now at this point. If you guys stay in San Bernardino, uh, we have an E85 gas station right here. And then we have another one at the Shell right at the corner. That's good because there's not too many E85 stations out there like that. So they're growing. And the last thing you want is to be left stranded because you don't have E85 anywhere around you. So I'm gonna try doing a first gear pull. I haven't done one since I did that video where I raced the STI. I'm hoping the car holds up still. J1 cable um, a lot of people told me that 
this transmission wouldn't be good for boost like I would be hating it at all times um, a lot of people had recommended me the GSR transmission or the LS but I noticed when I drive with this B16 transmission it's not that bad like people made it seem the gears do go by really fast I don't know if that's just because it's B16 or what the deal is I don't think it's as bad as people made it seem like I'd prefer this transmission I haven't uh, been boosted with the GSR transmission yet so I couldn't tell you if it's good or not but so far the B16 transmission it's getting the job done like I can floor it and forth and be at redline within like seconds and then the RPMs already say hi, so you just floor it and you're already in the power band. The speed definitely gets up there pretty quick on this car. Good old Rancho Cucamonga. Ooh. There's so many straightaways out here in Rancho. I think this is where Fresh Kicks is at too. Shout out to him. He probably won't be watching this. Damn, that truck is old. Not as old as my CRX though. Nah, I'm just kidding. This thing's like 30 years old, I think. It's matured very well though, through all these years. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's how it works, but you know, it is what it is. can't even drive this car normal on the street if I open it just a little bit like this thing's already ready to crash that was terrible I didn't like that one I usually don't bounce off the limiter more than once on first gear at least so we're pulling up to the place it's called Art of Attack. That's a nice S2K. Damn, and it's got the hard top. That's clean. So this is the hardware that we're gonna be using. It's like a burnt titanium or something like that. And um, for the horn button, it's gonna be a silver Momo button. Um, I think it's gonna look good though. And then I'm gonna try putting some buddy club seats in here. I can't remember exactly which ones they were, but they're uh, they're black bucket seat. They look really nice though. So yeah, this is what we just came up on right now. Uh, I can't remember the price. It was like 30 or something like that, but it's high quality as they say. I'm pretty stoked that I got the hardware now. So here's the second gear, check it out. this car I'm hoping that when I do upgrade the tires they won't spin as much I mean it's not like a crazy spin by any means but you know spinning is spinning at the end of the day so I just thought I'd share this with you since we're passing by this place back in the day like I think three four years ago no it was like four years ago I used to work at this warehouse right here I was a janitor they were paying me like I think it was like nine bucks an hour and I remember at that time I used to park the CRX here and it was single cam. I hated parking it there because I was like, man, they're gonna steal it, you know, all these negative thoughts, you know. I didn't want to do it, but that's just what I used to think when I was parking there. But yeah, I quit that job. I ended up moving on to other things, but that was definitely an experience for me. So we're pulling up to Victoria Gardens. Oh, that thing just backfired. Is it considered backfire if the exhaust is in the front? Let me know down below, you guys. Leave a comment. Oh, another one right there. Damn, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this place is like, I feel like it's the bougie part of the IE. Nothing wrong with that. Believe me, I love it out here. Like, I someday want to move out here. Like, eventually, with time, it'll happen, you guys. Like, I know, I know it's going to happen. I'm determined. Shout out to my boy Patrick, by the way. Um, he's always telling me that his favorite YouTuber talks at the stoplights and yeah, this little moment's for you, bro. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for me to answer the question that a few people have been asking me, which is, 
do I regret boosting the CRX? Uh, so my answer straight up is no, I don't regret it. Um, this car is so much fun now. Like every time I drive it, it does cost me a little bit more money because it is on E85 and it burns so damn quick. Like I could go through a half tank and like maybe like an hour or less. Like if I'm just, you know, doing pulls and driving it like I would like to, it'll burn pretty quick. But that's no big deal. Like you don't want to put a price, you know, on these cars because of gas. But yeah, like I was saying, um, doing pulls in it, so much fun, a lot of entertainment, spinning, whatever, you know, doing the backfires, it's all fun. Like I never had that with the all motor car. And it's fun when you take it to places like all your friends want to feel a pool in it, you know, and I am going to be doing uh, more reaction videos to this car with my friends in it. But yeah, for the most part, you know, the noises, whatever, the turbo spooling up, all of that's just, it's exciting. The only way I'll ever go back to all motor is if I'm doing an all motor K build, which I might not be doing anytime soon. But yeah, boosted B series, I'm good with it. Like if any of you guys are contemplating on boosting your setups or your Honda or whatever, I would do it. Like this it's so much fun i don't know why i didn't do it sooner i was always like uh, i don't need a turbo to go fast which is true you don't but i mean it's just a whole nother car man but yeah if you like the video make sure you leave it a thumbs up it's greatly appreciated subscribe we're almost at 2,000 subscribers um by the time i upload this later on we might actually be at 2,000. so if we are shout out to you guys i appreciate every single one of you guys and all of you guys that leave the comments down below hey you know who you are but yeah that's gonna be it for today um expect more videos from me soon uh, i'm gonna rearrange my schedule so i have more time to film and i want to hit up a lot more car meets so expect to see content from there as well but yeah thanks for watching you guys i'll catch you in the next one peace